Welcome to Simply Apple. In this video, I will be showing some tips that can be used with the on-screen keyboard on the iPad. For this demonstration, I will be using the Pages app. However, these tips will work with most any app that utilizes the on-screen keyboard. This first tip became available to us with iOS 5. In the bottom right-hand corner of the on-screen keyboard, you will see a key. This is basically an options key. If you simply press the key, the on-screen keyboard disappears. However, if you press and hold this key, you are given some options. In this case, I'm going to undock the keyboard. To dock it once again, press and hold that same key and simply select dock. Again, pressing and holding that same key, I am now going to split the keyboard, which gives you a variety of typing options. To dock it, press and hold that same key and dock and merge. You can also split the keyboard by pressing down on the sides of it and splitting the keyboard apart, like so. Once again, to dock it, hold down on that options key and dock and merge. Another very useful tip for the on-screen keyboard is that you can press and hold certain keys on the keyboard to give you a variety of other options. In this case, I'm going to hold down on the period key and you can see I also have the option for the quotation mark. By the way, this tip does not only apply to the iPad, but also applies to the iPhone and the iPod Touch as well. Another place where this tip becomes extremely useful is within Safari. Say, for example, that you want to open up Safari and you want to go to the Harvard webpage. So you go ahead and you enter in Harvard. However, Harvard is not a .com is a .edu. So in this case, if you press and hold the .com button, you are given a variety of options, including .edu, which is on the far right side. We entered it, we hit go, and there is the Harvard webpage on our iPad. I hope you found these tips helpful. Until next time, this is Simply Apple.